What's going on guys? So in this video, I wanted to explain my plan on how I'm going to earn premium just by stone refining with only 10 minutes per day and still earn premium every month. So that's my ultimate goal and I'm going to show you guys my plan right now. So if you guys have been following along, I've done this on this character that I, the zero to hero character, where I earned premium already. So I'm about three or four days in. So in those three to four days, I've been just doing stone refining. So I haven't done any market flipping as I or uh, skinning it as I did to get to the initial premium. But I've just been doing a lot of tier four, tier five, tier six stone cutting. I have a little bit of uh, tier seven and then one level in tier eight. So right now, I want to show you show you guys how much I'm going to earn because I've saved some focus. Twenty eight thousand, you get ten thousand per day, and if you have premium, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just with this slate block and the focus focus crafting, like for uncommon right now, because I have such high spec, it only cost me twenty nine focus per, and I get a fifty three not point nine percent return rate. And what I'm going to do is going to refine these. Just to show you how much money I, uh, I earn and then I'm going to go into the spreadsheet and show you my plan as to how I plan to only do about 10 minutes per day of work going forward and still earn premium on this character and that's my goal. So I'm going to go ahead and focus craft this. While this is uh, crafting and this is 2.07 million so keep an eye on that. It's, it's more than possible to transfer stone over from Martlock and then just earn profit, refine that way and make premium even without focus. But I wanted to, that takes time to truck it back and forth. So I wanted to go ahead and see how I could make it with just Bridgewatch, buy it in Bridgewatch, sell it in Bridgewatch, and just earn it every day without really doing much manual transferring back and forth. All right, so with the first, so I had 28,000 focus, four or 5,000 focus later, that's about, what was, I was at 2.07 million. So that's about two, 260,000 with 5,000 or so focus. So I'm gonna do 5,000 more focus on these, just to show you guys. And for premium right now, it's about 18 million. So I'm gonna have to get 600,000 at least per day just from the 10,000 of focus you get per day. So for this test, I'm just gonna do uh, about 10,000 focus, which would leave me at 18. So I have uh, about 3,000 more focus to use. So you can see already, I mean, <laughs> 400,000, and I'm almost at that 600 plus thousand mark, which I'm trying to reach. And the resource return rate is so high, 53.9%, I could continue to reuse the same material. All right, so I got 500 left here. Okay, so literally just with this alone, this was uh, 260, 207, now it's 262. So that would be 50, 55, or 50, 550,000. And I still have a little bit of focus left before I reach the 18,000. Okay, so I'm really, even without doing any of the, the calculations and literally just using the prices of Bridgewatch, this is more than this is almost at my goal already and I didn't even get to the, the fun part. So this is showing uncommon slate as eight, 890, which is very high considering the fact that I, I put buy orders in, in Bridgewatch for like 650. So realistically, I, I spent a lot less than, uh, than what it shows to actually make those slate blocks. And each slate block is around 1800, which is about re the reasonable price, uh, maybe a little bit less. Um, but in any case, I use about 10,000 focus and this is about almost 600,000, just literally in like a few minutes. 
So I'm going to pull up the spreadsheet here and I'm going to go through it one by one because it can get a little complicated for anyone who's just starting out. Um, but I want to go over my goal and eventually, as I shown here, um, it, let's say I'm just doing slate crafting. So I maxed that already. But this also gives the 30 bonus to focus efficiency when we're finding any kind of stone. So once I do Grandmaster and Elder, I'll probably be crafting those instead. But this will, those will actually benefit this and it'll cost me even less focus. Alright, so I'm going to go into um, the first one here. So this is a spreadsheet that I use for all the stone and all the stone block to show what the bridge watch price is. Now I did mart lock in case I wanted to transfer. This video we're just going to focus on bridge watch. So I went in and put in the buy um, prices for all the stone and stone block. I'm going to uh, unhide the this so we have the blocks as well. So I know what the approximate prices are. So this is factoring in right now. All these are all the buy prices that you could buy them at, and then I, I use it as the same price to sell it on Bridgewatch. As I mentioned before, you could get if you want better profit, bring it from Martlock because that's the primary resource um, is stone. But this in this video, I just want to do like the least amount of effort possible, and see if I can earn premium with uh, again only 10 minutes a day of just focus refining. Buy it from the market, refine it, sell it, and uh, be done for the day. Then I could focus on other things like my other character. And uh, yeah, so here's here's the uh, the breakdown here. So I got the sell price, and the sell price total is literally just the quantity required for each one, multiplied by the the price. So for example, like if we're using slate block, and I used uncommon slate in this video, it actually costs. Uh, four of ingredient one, four on common slate, and two granite blocks, which would equal uh, 800 for the uncommon slate is the current price uh, that I entered in this morning. And the granite block is around 500. Now again, you can get these prices much cheaper as I mentioned, and, but for example, I got this for like, like 650. Uh, but it, for this example, I'm not gonna use any um, buy order until uh, a little bit later as I go over this. Because this is just the current prices and I want to show you how much uh, I'd earn if I just, with my current spec, if I bought it and sold it at the current prices. So buy price one is for ingredient one, buy price two is for ingredient two. So that's there and then over here is calculating the costs. So the total cost for this would be four on common slate, two granite blocks, about 4,200 without any kind of bonus. With the bonus, which is about uh, 36.7% resource return rate without any focus, 26.56. And then this is like the, uh, with the bonus of bridge watch as well as the focus cost, you're looking at that 53.9% um, resource return rate. So literally more than half of the cost to do that. Now, if you're gonna do go simply cost, the sell price total minus the cost, you would be looking at um, negative 1,100 per uh, per craft or uncommon slate. Now, if you just do it with the bonus, and this is the cool part, you couldn't even need to use focus and you could still get profit about 400 per craft and then sell it back. And that's what I was doing early on. It just took more time to do, but that's how I got my spec up. So if you guys want to do that, go feel free, go ahead and do it. Now, the, the big money comes with the focus and the uh, and this would be all that 1100 profit per per craft with my current spec as I showed you it costs 29 focus per uncommon um, slate craft with the slate block for the slate block you're looking at about I have 30, 395,000 in this video it was like 600,000 um, but this is more accurate to the prices now if I were to do 650, which I bought most of that stuff for anyway, it was about 490, 
thousand uh, profit. So that's closer to what you saw in the video. But in any case, even if I was just going to buy and sell at the current prices of the ingredients and then sell slate block at whatever it is, 1540 without doing transferring between Martlock, um, even that I'm making 400,000 without doing it with 10 minutes of effort. Now over here shows the max spec if I were to max everything. And this is the, the ultimate goal here. If I max all the specs, I could literally just make 600 something thousand per thousand fo 10,000 focus every day because it only cost me 18 focus for this craft instead of 29. Over here, this would show you your, your monthly. So I'm trying to earn whatever, 18, 19,000 strictly um, for premium. And right now, with my current spec, if I were going to do it based on the current market prices, I would be able to get 12 million approximately, which would be a little bit more than half. At max spec, I could easily get 19 million and earn premium. So this is actually a lot better than I thought. I thought I would have to max everything and go to the high tier resources just to get my, uh, my premium. But... I didn't realize you could earn even more than this. So if I go into, let's say, my current spec for um, tier 7 or even tier 8, you're looking at an even higher profit here. So if I were to craft this, this tier 7 uh, uncommon, I would actually be getting... Right now I'm getting less because... Obviously, my spec is not good, but at max spec, you're looking at, um, with just the current prices, 1.4 million per day, just for the 10,000 focus, which would be about 42 million. And even better, further down here, actually about the same, 41 or so million. Now, this does not include transferring from Martlock for this expensive resources. Now, you, you probably want to do that if, you know, tier 7 or tier 8 is cheaper. But the, the fun part about this is that you could just do this on an alternate character and earn premium plus if you have enough spec with just the current prices. You could earn even more if you put buy orders in for even less. So, for example, I was doing slate block. I was putting in buy orders for... 650 and I got a bunch which I crafted today you guys saw and then the rare slate 1450 so realistically if you go a little bit further and just put some buy orders in which doesn't take much time you could push that to a max spec 24 25 million only on tier 7 so right now I'm almost even at my goal and I haven't even you know maxed out the tier 7 or tier tier 8 so I'm actually really happy with this because I didn't realize Stone could be so profitable. So yeah, I mean, that's that's the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and um, you saw how profitable this could be. Uh, now you do have to factor in some taxes and things like that, which are maybe 3 4%. But the fact that you're getting so much per your thousand focus with limited effort is pretty amazing so that's it for this video um this is i think pretty long as it is hopefully i explained the the spreadsheet well enough you have the, your ingredients you have your costs the profit uh the blue is the profit per focus this is like if you were going to get max spec so like ultimately my goal so if i were going to get max spec again for slate i would be getting i'll put these prices back to to what they were 81860 I would still be getting premium <laughs> with just the current prices. So that would be pretty amazing. 10 minutes of work, and then I could just focus on my other character flipping and things like that. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know uh, below. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips that maybe I'm missing um, for stone crafting to minimize my time or increase my profit, let me know below. Thanks for watching.